We have the MD of Electrans Shipping Private Limited, Captain Deepak Arora, with us over here at the Shipping Tribune Conference uh, called the India Maritime Summit 2017, Emerging Opportunities to India's Seaborne Oil, Chemicals and Gas Tanker Trade. Captain Deepak Arora, we would like to ask you a couple of questions in terms of what you've spoken at the conference today. The first question is, what are the most suitable technologies for the ship owners to increase seaborne oil tanker trade in India today? Uh, as far as the technologies are uh, concerned, uh, there are no specific technologies we will in, which will enhance the uh, seaborne trade. But uh, definitely, uh, as we uh, going forward, uh, modern tanker fleet is the need of the hour. And uh, looking at the aging profile of tankers, definitely uh, the industrial world has to step up to supply uh, modern tankers equipped with better technologies uh, fueled by uh, the two new major regulations which are coming uh, down the decade. One is the ballast water management convention, which will definitely, uh, definitely affect the overall supply and uh, underpin uh, demolitions. And second thing is the global cap of half percent uh, of fuel by 2020, which will have to have uh, uh, modernized technologies uh, in, in order to achieve that kind of uh, fuel standard. So overall, shipping industry has to step up to uh, meet those uh, technology criteria overall, uh, which may, uh, which may give uh, rise to the modern fleet and enhance uh, seaborne trade uh, in particular. Sure. What is your opinion about the global perspective on seaborne oil tanker trade? Uh, the perspectives are bright uh, post-2018. Uh, sadly, uh, in the first half of 2017, I am not very, very uh, optimistic about uh, uh, the charter rate as far as the tanker charter market is concerned, uh, basically owing to uh, the fleet uh, increments in terms of shipbuilding rising to uh, some, some of the sectors are uh, going up to 6 to 7 percent, uh, such as Suez Max. Uh, while the overall growth uh, of the fleet is going to be about four and a half percent but post 2018 up to 2021 i see a very very uh, slow growth in the uh, asset acquisitions asset delivery uh, from the new building uh, capping to about one one and a half percent which will take control on the demand and supply balance so post 2018 definitely this is a bright future and also i see many demolitions coming post 2018 so definitely there'll be a demand supply uh, better balance uh, and in the equation which will uh, increase the tanker tanker freight rate market what advice would, would you give to the youth today who is interested in pursuing an active career in the shipping industry? Uh, thanks, Asina, for asking that question. Uh, India being uh, one of the uh, most important and uh, underpinned economy at the moment, and uh, you know people are watching us, I see that seafaring is a great profession uh, based out of India. India is, uh, India is uh, making his uh, presence across the maritime nations quite well. Uh, as far as the ship operations are concerned, we, have, we were already there, but I see a, a steep growth in our ship owning operations whereby a lot of youth are coming to own their own uh, tonnages uh, such as us. Uh, we, are, we are stepping up our ship owning program and you see that there is a lot of growth in that sector for as far as India and uh, the uh, our GDP is concerned, which is uh, speculated at 7.5% uh, plus. So it's a bright future for uh, young seafarers who want to join uh, ship operations, not only on, on seaside, but also ashore, where I see a lot, uh, lot of demand for talented professionals. Thank you so much for your time, Captain Deepak.